Hello, reformers, and welcome to Blood and Steel. Oh yes, now I have decided on which particular class I am going to be selecting. And now, if you have not seen my special feature, I recommend you go to see it so that you can take a look at all of the class descriptions that I read out. And so, my choice is the Brigand. Oh yes, you are a dangerous character, and you have secured the loyalty of a motley crew of fellow prisoners. Oh yes. Now, there have been a couple of people who have said they want me to play on mommy difficulty, and this is <laughs> rather difficult indeed, so let us do it. Okay, so with the mod options, I am going to be leaving pretty much everything on, and what is this? I have just noticed this. Current Days to Doom 45. Standard mommy difficulty. What happens if we actually click on this? Oh my, current days to doom one for the truly hardcore. Well, I already have mommy difficulty on and I used to be quite hardcore back in the day, but nowadays I do prefer a little more relaxed state, but <laughs> I think with mommy difficulty we're going to have just as many issues. So we will just continue like this. Oh yes. You are now ready to begin your adventure and we will become an adventurer now. We are most likely going to... Hmm... I think we'll go for realistic, no quitting without saving. Because we want to experience everything this mod has to throw at us. Okay, so let us take a look at our stats. Oh my goodness! Firearms, 303! Wow, okay, they definitely want us to use guns. So now, let us take a look at what we want. I think pathfinding would actually be a very good idea for this mod as many things are very dangerous so yes we will go for that and what else hmm I think we have a rather large amount of prisoner management already so let's go for one in leadership and I think it would be nice to have some reflexes and horse archery that would be good Let's go for two in agility, get one more in horse archery, I think would be great. And then we will go for one point in intellect and one point in charisma. Yes, that seems like a pretty good idea. And we will go for one more in pathfinding to make us incredibly quick. Oh yeah. So, let us now see what we are going to choose with our proficiencies. I think throwing weapons would probably be quite fun. And one-handed weapons, I suppose. And now, a name. I have thought on this rather considerably, and I think we will go for Cutthroat Craven. <laughs> yes, this was suggested to me by someone, and I think it would be a rather suitable name. It has a ring to it, and it seems quite apt for the situation, us being a brigand and everything. So we will go for that, oh yes. So now let us create our face. Okay, so this is Craven himself. He is a rather dapper looking fellow, isn't he? Oh yes, there we go. Now, seeing as I have never ever started in the Kyrgyz Khanate and really not used their units that much, I will be starting there and hopefully becoming a vassal of theirs in time to come. Maybe even trying to find a claimant and do that quest, because now I know you need a lot of relation with each of the vassals, it might be a good idea. So let's do it. You came with a caravan crossing the mountains that border Calradia on the north and east, bringing spices from faraway lands to trade for wool and salt. The passes were still choked with snow and it was hard going. But at last you crested a ridge and saw before you the Calradian steps. On some hillsides, the thin grass of spring was already turning yellow, but the lower slopes of the mountains were still a vibrant green. Herds of sheep and tawny ponies drifted across them like clouds, testifying to the wealth of the Kyrgyz Khans. From time to time, small groups of horsemen would follow your caravan from a distance, perhaps sizing up how well you could defend the wealth you carried. So it was with some relief that you saw the towers of Tolga rising up from the plains. 
Your party is almost at Olga, and you can almost smell the wonderful scents of cooking fires and a well-deserved rest on a cot in the local inn. As you cross an ancient bridge, however, your lookouts in the vanguard suddenly cry out in horror. We will now see what is this. Oh my, it doesn't seem like this is the standard bandit opening, I have to admit. And what is going on here? What is that over there? Oh no. Remnants. Okay, fire! Open fire, everyone! Open fire! Oh no, I'm headshotting them, but I'm doing no damage. Really? Oh no. Come on, do some damage. Come on. I can do a lot more damage than this, I know it. Oh no, they are too fast and... Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, they definitely know how to fight, that's for sure. You are struck down. However, before you lose consciousness, you hear shouts and a rush of footfalls. You awake to find yourself indoors. Weak, but alive. Thankfully. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. We actually have a few people in here with us. Hello, merchant. Ah, you're awake. It's good to see that you can still walk. You're lucky that we came along. I had been speaking with the watch when we heard the sounds of a fight and ran to see what was happening. We didn't arrive in time to prevent you getting knocked down, but we may have saved you from getting your throat cut. Now, maybe you can help me. Ooh, he's sounding rather devious, isn't he? <laughs> well, it is blood and steel after all. Okay, well, this is the standard rescue, my brother. Quest, and there we are. Oh, so here's my proposition. You look like you've had a bit of experience with a blade, and more importantly, you must have a bit of fire in your belly, or you wouldn't be coming to Calradia to seek your fortune. Yes, yes, I will do it. 500 dinars, he gives us. Okay, great. Okay, there we are. Yes, we can find him in the tavern. Okay, that is our first quest, and here we are at Tolga. This is the Blood and Steel map. Oh my. This is going to be a rather... What is that? City of Light? Oh my goodness, we need to go and see that sometime. That is amazing. Okay, well, as I was saying, this is going to be a rather epic series. Wow, what is this? That's new, isn't it? Maybe I'm just not observant at all. And what is this down here? This is new as well. Black Fortress. Needles Point. Razor's Edge. And Hammer's Fist. Oh my, that looks like a couple of bosses to me. Hmm. Well, that's very interesting indeed. Hopefully we'll see those later on. So, now we have a couple of looters over there. I don't think we have to worry about them so much. Do we? They're peasants. Hmm, could we take them on? 46 of them. We have some rather good units, I must admit. Maybe we could take them on. Are they going to run from us? No, they don't run from us and they don't run to us, so... Oh, they are running to us now. They do think they can win. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Let's go and recruit the five troops that the merchant requires from us and then we'll see what we can do from there hopefully once I have those men I may be able to engage some of the looters around here and why can I not oh my good no the populace is indifferent to you minus five okay well let's do a task for the village elder if we can please don't be a cattle herding task that's all I ask of you okay when I click this button do not tell me to get some cattle for you Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. How many animals do you need? Nine of them. Uh, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I won't actually do this quest, but... Oh, will I? Yes. Okay. Let's go and do it. I will stop being a procrastinator, because goodness knows I am terribly good at that, and... Oh! I see. Okay, so once you decline it, there's nothing else you can do. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, so let's just head up here, and we will actually go and try and get a quest from Tarbuck, I think. And let me just make sure I see where Craven is currently running, because we wouldn't like him to 
be beset upon by any unsavory characters, as it were. And now let us try to see what task this village elder wants to give us. Really? Only cattle? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Six heads. Okay, that's great. Let's do that. That will be fine. And we have already gained some relation, so as soon as we complete this quest, which is going to be quite tricky, I must admit, so now let us see. Where do we actually want to go? I think we may go to the Vajir's village and see whether we can raid that for a few cattle. Unless we can actually buy from them, but I don't think we could. So let's actually just check anyway, just in case. These guys are running from me, so maybe I could take them on. Don't know. Okay, so let's go to the village elder. And I want to buy some supplies. I want to buy some cattle, and they have no cattle left in the village, which is rather unfortunate. So, instead of doing that, we're going to take a hostile action. And loot and burn the village. Oh my. Some of the angry villagers grab their tools and prepare to resist you. It looks like you'll have a fight on your hands if you continue. Yes, let us do it. Okay. So, now, let us hold our positions over here, and fire! Yes, I actually did some damage, oh my. Okay, there's, whoa, okay, it seems like these bullets actually penetrate multiple targets. That is amazing. Nice headshot there. And now we will tell them to charge in as best they can. Oh yes, I've never actually had a gun before in any of these playthroughs. This is cool. And I headshot one of my own troops, which I am deeply sorry for, but I am an evil person, so <laughs> so I am not sorry whatsoever. That's my line anyway. Okay, well, let's attempt to actually be more evil in my commentary. So, <laughs> yes, because, oh, sorry, I just shot you in the head. That's a bit too polite for a bandit, I have to admit. Yes. Okay, so we have actually defeated them, which is great. Okay, so, the villagers here are few and frightened, and they quickly scatter and run before you. The village is at your mercy. Oh my, order your troops to massacre the helpless men, women, and children of the village. No, I do actually want to plunder it and gain as many supplies as I possibly can. And there's actually a vassal of the Vajirs right there. I was so thankful that he didn't come over. Is he actually going to? No, he didn't. But thankfully, phew, that was close. On your orders, your troops sack the village, pillaging everything of any value. Then they put the buildings to the torch. From the coins and valuables that are found, you get your share of 5,000 dinars. And we get a lot of stuff, which is absolutely amazing. Thankfully, I trained in some inventory management. That's all I have to say. And we get a lot of food as well. So I think we've actually gotten off to a really good start, although there are no cattle. So I'm just actually wondering whether that is how it's supposed to be, because if the mod is just programmed to not give you any cattle and they only have cattle quests so how am i supposed to recruit units oh no okay i don't actually know how well i suppose i could level up these guys now that's a good bonus i have to admit oh yes we actually got some black guards aha uh -huh. and craven himself has actually leveled up as well so let's see what we can spec into I think another point in intellect would be good, because then we can increase our reflexes and our leadership. Yes, I think so. That would be rather nice. Okay, so let's go with that. And cannons, we may want to use cannons later on. Who knows? Okay, so we actually have <laughs> 29 days. I'm never going to do it. Can you buy cattle from towns? That would be really nice if you could. I don't think so somehow, but maybe the mod has changed it? Who knows? Okay, let's try. So, let's go to Ikemur, and we will see. So, let's go to the marketplace. Horses! No, somehow I don't think that you can actually get <laughs> anything here. Okay. So. Let's try and sell a few things. 